Okay guys, so the question is here, how do we save game data? So I got a little game right here, and we'll go into it. I've set up that basically we have these little uh, bright cylinders here, and when you run into them, we score some points, it's displayed to the HUD, and basically what we want to be able to do is remember our score if we leave the game. So if I hit escape, and then I hit play again, I don't want to have to start all the way over at zero. I want it to remember that I got 150 points. So how am I going to be able to do that? Okay. So first things first. Let's get out of here. We're going to need to create what's called a save game object. And the way we do that is by right clicking here in the content browser. We'll go to blueprint class. And we'll search for all classes. Type in save game. And there you see it pops up save game. We're going to click on that, hit select, and we're going to call this my save. Now we're going to go in here, and what we're going to do is I'm going to make this real simple. I'm just going to create one variable. So I'm going to click right here on the plus sign and type in player score, and then in parentheses save. So I know that this is the one that's in the save, save game object. And I'm going to make this an integer, and I'm going to compile. And that is all you need to do in this save game object. So I'm going to X out of here. And what I'm going to do uh, to show you guys is just go into my player character. And you see right here I have a variable called score player. So this is whatever variable that you want to save you're going to need to make it the same as what you have in the save game object. So maybe I should open that back up for you. So you see I have player score save in the save game. And then in the player character I have score player. So anything that you want to save, you're going to need to make a um, similar variable in the save game object to match whatever thing you're trying to save from your player character, from any items, from your level, it doesn't matter. Whatever you want to save, you have to have a matching variable here in the save game. Okay, so I'm not going to go into creating all this functionality for how the HUD and the score and the items, this is just about saving the game. So once you have your variables that you want to save and you've created your save game object, you need to actually create you know the save data and I'm gonna do that in my controller you can put that in the player character you can put in a lot of different things I'm just gonna go here into my controller and this is a S keyboard event so you can get that by right clicking and typing in S keyboard and you see all of these are keyboard options that'll come up you can pick whatever button you wanna have Q doesn't matter I've used S for save, and I did another one, D, this is going to be for deleting and clearing our save game data. So what I want to do off of the S key, this is what I want to actually call the you know program to save whatever our points are. So what I need to do first is drag off of this and say create save game object. So we need to create the object that's actually going to hold all of this data, which is going to be the same class that we had up here, my save. So we're going to look for that, put it in here. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this and we want to save this to slot. So if you start typing in save, you'll see save game to slot. And we're just going to use slot name 0. Make sure whatever the slot is named here, it's going to be the same throughout. So we're going to also have a load game from slot. Make sure the slot names match. Now I don't want this to directly hook up like this, so I'm going to break this by right clicking and go to break. Because before we save this out, we need to actually change, you know, some of, we need to change that variable in here. And I see a lot of people making this mistake of just hooking this directly up to that. All you're going to do this, if you have these connected like that, is just save default values. 
so we don't want that. So we're going to break this link. Now I have a reference to my player here because the player is the one that's holding the score variable. So you're going to need to get a reference to your player. If you don't already have one, you can easily make one. Just right click and say cast to and then find your player character. Mine's called player character right here and then drag off of this object pin and say get player character and then right click here on the player character output and you can promote that to a variable and that will give you one of these references here so I'm gonna take my reference to the player and drag off of this pin this gives me access to the player character blueprint and everything that's inside of it and what I want from there is score so if I type in score, see it says get score, and that's what I want. I'm just going to grab this score out of here, and then from our save game object, remember we made a variable in my save called player score. So what I'm going to do there is drag out of here and say set player score. This is the variable within the save game object. And I want to set that to whatever the player's score is at the time. So I'll hook these two up. And now I'm going to hook this to that. And now that this variable is actually changed, now I'm going to tell it to save game to a slot. OK. So I'm going to compile and save that. And after here, just so we know what's going on, I'll print and I'll say game saved. Okay. Now, off of this D event, I'm going to drag off and say delete. And you see what comes up, delete game in slot. And this will just clear out all the data that you have in that slot. So I'm going to put zero again, make sure they all match. So now I know when I press the S key, I will save a game. And when I press the D key, I'll delete the game. Now, this is the part that some people mess up. I'm going to put this in the level blueprint. So I'm going to go into my level blueprint. And you can access that by clicking here on the blueprints and saying open up level blueprint. You can also put this in your game instance. Um, but just to make things easier for me, I'm going to put it right here in the level. And I'm going to drag off right here and say load game from slot. Now, I'm going to look in the same slot, index 0. And it's going to try and pull out a save game object. We need to make sure it's the right save game object. So we're going to need to cast to my save game. So we just right drag out here, release, and say cast to, and it finds my save game. Now that we have my save game, if something existed here, right, in the load game, we're going to drag out and get score. So this should be the save score that we just, when we push the S, we saved out whatever the player's score was. That's the score that we want to get. And now what we want to do with this is we want to set the current player score to this save game score. So what we're going to need to do again is get a reference to the player. I'm just going to put this right here. So say cast to player character or whatever your character is called. And again, drag off the object pin here and say get player character. Now that we have our player character, I'm going to drag off of this pin here and release and say set score player. And I want to set this to the value that we had saved out earlier. So I'm going to drag this over here and connect these up. And now our score will be set from our load game. So compile, save, 
And just so we know what's going on, I will print, and it will say score set. So now let's test this out. So I'm going to come by, going to get this, going to get that. So now we have 150 points. I'm going to hit S. It says game saved. And I'm going to hit escape. So now we're out of this game. And now I'm going to start the game again. And you see, it says score set, and we start with 150 points, and we keep going from there. Now, if I hit the S key, we've saved the game, escape, play it again, now we're at 250. Now, if I hit the D key, this should clear everything out. So I'm going to hit the D key, escape out of the game, and now I'm going to play, and we're at zero because it had deleted everything that was in that slot. And we start back collecting our points again. And if we hit S, we save the game, can escape, come back and play, we're at 100. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and stay tuned. Put out some more tutorials later. All right, bye.